Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Investment Ventures. Sorry, I've been on a long break and it's been almost 30 to 40 days that I have not, not paid attention to my YouTube channel, but I had some personal commitments and I do plan to be regular going forward. The stock I have for you today is, is not a very cheap stock. It's a very well reputed stock, but the reason I am sharing this with you all because I have started investing in this very recently and I do believe in the long term prospects of this company. And personally, I have a target close to five figures on the stock in a couple of years. So let's take a look on why I have so much conviction in this stock. So we'll go through the we'll go through HDFC AMC at a glance, what it does, some key metrics, what are its market share, what are the concerning factors that I have, its current financials, and uh, what's what's next for, for HDFC AMC as well as for the next videos that I have lined up for y'all. Okay. So HDFC basically is a very reputed company. This is a subsidiary of HDFC and uh, it has its own mutual fund house. It has a lot of funds that it offers to the public, a lot of SIPs that, that people participate in. Currently has close to about 4187 billion rupees under assets under management and services all across India. Employees strength of roughly about 1241. This is end of June and it's taken right out of their investor presentation. And because the number of employees is small compared to the assets under management, they operate at a very high margin. Their margins are close to 75-76%. And that's one of the reasons it's a very profitable company. Okay, so let's look at some of the key metrics. They have about 92 billion rupees in SIP flows and about 40 million accounts in SIP. Now, the best that any fund house can expect is SIP participation because it gives a lot of predictability to its model, predictability to the flows. And of course, as equity markets keep going up, more and more investors keep getting attracted to it and uh, asset prices are inflating. So the commissions will keep on going up. So it keeps up with inflation in a way. And uh, it attracts a lot more new investors. So if you all have been reading about it in the news, CDSL has opened close to about four crore new DMAT accounts in the recent past. And uh, last reported by BSE in July, there are about seven crore investor accounts with BSE. So that's the reason I have also been bullish about CDSL in the past and BSE. BSE was one of my previous recommendation and uh, also CDSL. BSE owns a part of CDSL, so uh, that's the reason I was bullish on BSE and now HDFC AMC, which I will tell you all the story as, as we go through this. So they have about, uh, so if you look at the actively managed equity oriented assets under management and the market share, they have close to about 1805 billion rupees in equity oriented funds, which is about 44% of their share of the total funds. Now, as more and more equity percentage increases, the better it is because the churn is more, the, the commissions are more. So HDFC is working towards it. And they, and of course the markets going higher has attracted more investors. So that builds a case for it. India's participation in the equity market compared to any other developed markets is very, very low. The penetration is very low under 10%, less than 10%. Whereas in developed markets, it is close to about 50%. So it does have a lot of potential, even if this was to double from here, or even if 50% was to go up from here. I mean, these stocks would go crazy, even if with a 50% increase. The only concerning fact that I have here is the market share of HDFC AMC has been declining compared to the industry. So they had a 14 percentage market share, which is slowly been coming down to 12 and a half. So that's the only concerning factor I have, but nevertheless, the assets under management has been going up. 
Okay, uh, now if I look at HDFC AMC versus the industry, I'm looking mostly at the closing assets under management. Now in all categories, whether it's equity, whether it's debt, whether it's liquid funds, in each of this, it has a higher share compared to the industry. So if it is, if it is equity, if I look at uh, June, equity is 43.9, here it is 44.5. Uh, we talk about debt, which is 33.7. This is 38.5. And then, uh, sorry, it is 37% here and 31% uh, here. And liquid funds 12.5 versus 16% here. The only category it is not focusing on, on is the others. And obviously, because they are focused on equity debt, primarily on equity and debt, which are the main business businesses where it's more beneficial. Okay, compare this to the other fund houses. HDFC is, has always been on the top. Again, the only fact here is the declining market share. Smaller companies seem to be gaining a little more traction and the larger ones seem to be stable or on a slight decline. And that's visible even in HDFC mutual fund house as well as ICICI Prudential mutual fund house. The gainers here seem to be Axis and ABSL. The other good part about HDFC is they have changed with times and with the onset of COVID, things became more online and they have adapted to it. They have increased their digital penetration and you can see right from FY1920 to Q122, you can see that the digital contribution of sales has been going up from 69 to 85. Now. This is not only beneficial for the investor because sitting at home, sitting using mobile and, and computer channels, you can log in and open an HDFC account, invest through in, invest in funds, but it also reduces cost of employees for HDFC AMC. That's the reason you see that they have they are operating on very high margins. That would be the case with many other fund houses, but uh, HDFC in particular because of its brand reputation has been gaining ground here significantly. Okay, if I look at the numbers, the numbers this quarter were mediocre. I mean, they could have been a lot better had had the spend on marketing expenses not been so high. But uh, currently there were, have been a lot of expenses on marketing and that's the reason the margins have been declining slightly. Now, uh, they were at, at the peak in September 2020 when they were at 80% margins, but now since HDFC has been losing ground, they have tried to increase their penetration by spending on uh, spending on marketing, trying to see how they can they can increase their market share again. And uh, they are also trying to focus more on uh, equity oriented funds because that gives you a lot of predictability. SIP flows have moderated a bit because of the high valuations but uh, and and HDFC has started launching new funds to attract new to attract more money they have launched a fund of fund banking sector fund of fund they have forayed into multi cap fund thematic funds sectoral and passive schemes and they have raised close to about 3000 crores and all this money that they raise will keep on generating more and more revenue as well as more income for HDFC AMC in the longer run so it's not just a one-time thing. It is it is recurring income that they set forth for. Now, if you see the net profit, it hasn't it hasn't shown a substantial increase compared to the revenue. Uh, it was at 302 crores net profit. It's at 345, which is roughly about 13, 14 odd percent increase. It could have been a lot better based on the 24, 25 percent increase in the revenue. But like I said, the expenses have gone up, and that's the reason. Uh, the net profit hasn't grown or kept pace with the revenue numbers. Nevertheless, I have personally started investing in this. Number one, it's a super brand. It's a solid brand, rather. It's a zero debt company. It has very high operating margins. The model is very predictable. Like investors will keep on coming to the equity markets. There'll be ups and downs, yes, but they will keep coming to the market. The market share of of uh, equity markets in India, investor participation in India is less than 10%. There's a lot of room to grow here. 
the number of accounts that have opened now sooner or later will start investing in the markets and start investing through mutual funds the only cause of concern here is the decline in the market share as well as the uh, operating margins which i'm sure hdfc based on its performance in hdfc hdfc bank hdfc insurance they have a very reputed brand and management i'm sure they will get over this small dip so my personal target on this could be more than 10000 and it could take a couple of years to get there we are right now at 3000 it could take a couple of years to get there but nevertheless it's a very solid stock to own and and keep on accumulating over the years so it's not something you just buy now and you have to time your purchase keep an sip in hdfc amc forget about it let the sip run sooner or later you will see your money money double and triple all right uh that's all i had for hdfc amc uh let's look at what's next that's coming up uh, i'm planning to just go through an evaluation of all the stocks we have recommended either on our telegram group or on uh, youtube and um, just do a quick check on how we have performed and um, because the markets are at a high some trends have changed i have identified some new trends that are that are coming up i do want to work on a new portfolio and uh, that i'll be sharing with you all also soon about the new trends that are coming up as well as the portfolio related to the new trends all right thank you for listening in and uh, stay tuned for more uh, please make sure you subscribe to our telegram channel our facebook page and our youtube channel and um, because that's where you will get most of the information first stay tuned for more thank you